Question 1. What does a flashing red light signify at an intersection? A. Stop and proceed when it's safe. B. Proceed with caution without stopping. C. The driver has the immediate right of way. D. Accelerate to quickly pass the intersection. Answer A. Stop and proceed when it's safe. Question 2. What should you do if your driving speed is causing you to block, hinder, or interfere with other vehicles? A. Maintain your speed to assert your right of way. B. Increase your speed to match the flow of traffic, if safe to do so. C. Stop your vehicle immediately and wait for traffic to clear. D. Continue driving at the same speed, regardless of other vehicles. Answer B. Increase your speed to match the flow of traffic, if safe to do so. Question 3. What is the state speed limit on controlled access highways, unless otherwise posted? A. 55 miles per hour. B. 65 miles per hour. C. 75 miles per hour. D. 80 miles per hour. Answer C. 75 miles per hour. Question 4. If your car starts to skid on icy roads, what is the recommended action? A. Accelerate to gain traction. B. Brake hard to reduce skidding. C. Take your foot off the brake and steer in the direction of the skid. D. Use the clutch to regain control. Answer C. Take your foot off the brake and steer in the direction of the skid. Question 5. How close to the curb should you park when parallel parking? A. Within 6 inches of the curb. B. Within 18 inches of the curb. C. Exactly on the curb. D. More than 24 inches from the curb. Answer. B. Within 18 inches of the curb. Question 6. How should you respond to emergency vehicles sounding a siren and or flashing warning lights? A. Continue driving at the same speed to maintain traffic flow. B. Pull over to the left edge of the roadway and stop. C. Pull over to the right edge of the roadway and stop. D. Stop immediately, regardless of your position on the road. Answer. C. Pull over to the right edge of the roadway and stop. Question 7. How far ahead should you watch for cars braking, entering, and exiting? A. 5 to 10 seconds ahead. B. 10 to 15 seconds ahead. C. 15 to 20 seconds ahead. D. 20 to 25 seconds ahead. Answer. C. 15 to 20 seconds ahead. Question 8. When entering a public road from a private road, driveway, or building, what should you do? A. Accelerate quickly to merge with traffic. B. Stop before the sidewalk or crosswalk, then proceed when safe. C. Honk to alert other drivers and pedestrians, then proceed. D. Proceed without stopping if you do not see any immediate traffic. Answer. B. Stop before the sidewalk or crosswalk, then proceed when safe. Question 9. What should you do if you see flashing lights at a railroad crossing? A. Continue driving without slowing down. B. Stop only if a train is visible. C. Stop and remain stopped until the train has passed and all tracks are clear. D. Slow down and proceed with caution. Answer. C. Stop and remain stopped until the train has passed and all tracks are clear. Question 10. What does the color orange signify when driving? A. You are approaching a school zone. B. You are nearing or in a work zone. C. There is an increase in speed limit ahead. D. You are leaving a residential area. Answer. B. You are nearing or in a work zone. Question 11. What vehicles use the slow-moving vehicle emblem? A. All vehicles during nighttime. B. Vehicles capable of speeds greater than 25 miles per hour. C. Vehicles traveling at 25 miles per hour or less. D. Emergency vehicles only. Answer. C. Vehicles traveling at 25 miles per hour or less. Question. 12. How close can you legally park to a fire hydrant? 
A. 5 feet. B. 10 feet. C. 15 feet. D. 20 feet. Answer. C. 15 feet. Question 13. How can you identify a quiet zone at a railroad crossing? A. There are no flashing lights or gates. B. A no train horn sign is adjacent to the crossing. C. The crossing is marked with a special quiet zone symbol. D. Trains are visibly quieter when passing through. Answer. B. A no train horn sign is adjacent to the crossing. Question 14. What should you do if you have the right of way and another driver yields it to you? A. Wait for another driver to proceed first. B. Honk to signal them to go. C. Proceed immediately. D. Yield back to avoid confusion. Answer. C. Proceed immediately. Question 15. When are speeding fines doubled in construction and maintenance zones? A. At all times. B. Only during nighttime. C. When the construction site is empty. D. When workers or equipment are present. Answer. D. When workers or equipment are present. Question. 16. What is the correct distance a vehicle must stop from a blind person in the roadway? A. 5 feet. B. 10 feet. C. 15 feet. D. 20 feet. Answer. C. 15 feet. Question. 17. If you suspect another driver is targeting you, what should you not do? A. Go to a safe place with people around. B. Call 911 if necessary. C. Drive home. D. Go to a police or fire station. Answer. C. Drive home. Question 18. What should you do when you see a vehicle stopped on the side of the highway? A. Move to the left lane or slow down. B. Maintain your speed and lane position. C. Honk to alert the stopped vehicle. D. Stop behind the vehicle to offer assistance. Answer A. Move to the left lane or slow down. Question 19. When parking facing uphill against a curb, how should you position your wheels? A. Turn your wheels sharply towards the curb. B. Keep your wheels straight. C. Turn your wheels sharply away from the curb. D. No specific direction is necessary. Answer. C. Turn your wheels sharply away from the curb. Question 20. What does a flashing yellow arrow signal indicate? A. The driver must stop and cannot turn. B. The driver can turn left without yielding to oncoming traffic. C. The driver should reduce speed and cautiously proceed. D. The driver has the right of way over oncoming traffic. Answer. C. The driver should reduce speed and cautiously proceed. Question 21. How should you drive when children are present in the street? A. With the same caution as you would in less populated areas. B. At the maximum speed limit to pass the area quickly. C. Ignoring the children as they are taught not to run into the street. D. With extreme caution, especially near schools and playgrounds. Answer. D. With extreme caution, especially near schools and playgrounds. Question 22. What is the proper action if an officer signals you to stop while you're driving in the left lane? A. Stop immediately in the left lane. B. Pull over to the left shoulder. C. Pull over to the right shoulder, even if it means crossing several lanes of traffic. D. Signal the officer that you will exit at the next off-ramp. Answer. C. Pull over to the right shoulder, even if it means crossing several lanes of traffic. Question 23. What should you do if you need to stop on an expressway due to a breakdown or emergency? A. Signal, then stop immediately in your current lane. B. Signal, then pull off to the extreme right shoulder away from moving traffic. C. Turn on your emergency flashers and wait for help in the car. D. Get out of your car and signal for help near the roadway. Answer. B. Signal, 
then pull off to the extreme right shoulder away from moving traffic. Question 24. When is it safe to begin passing another vehicle on the left? A. Immediately, if you think you have enough speed. B. When the vehicle in front of you signals you to pass. C. After signaling for a left turn without checking for clear roadway. D. Once you are sure you have at least 200 feet of clear roadway ahead. Answer. D. Once you are sure you have at least 200 feet of clear roadway ahead. Question 25. What is the recommended following distance behind the vehicle in front of you under normal conditions? A. 2 seconds. B. 3 seconds. C. 4 seconds. D. 5 seconds. Answer. B. 3 seconds. Question 26. What should you do if you have a flat tire or blowout while driving? A. Accelerate to maintain control. B. Brake suddenly to stop as quickly as possible. C. Take your foot off the gas and apply brakes cautiously. D. Exit the vehicle immediately to check the damage. Answer. C. Take your foot off the gas and apply brakes cautiously. Question 27. What does the basic speed rule imply? A. You must drive at the speed limit at all times. B. Your speed should be adapted to the current driving conditions. C. The faster you drive, the more efficient your travel will be. D. Night driving always requires a minimum speed of 65 miles per hour. Answer. B. Your speed should be adapted to the current driving conditions. Question 28. How should you position your wheels when parking uphill without a curb? A. Turn your wheels sharply to the right. B. Turn your wheels sharply towards the left. C. Keep the wheels straight. D. Position does not matter as there is no curb. Answer A. Turn your wheels sharply to the right. Question 29. Under which condition must you not pass another vehicle? A. When the solid yellow line is in your lane. B. When approaching a green traffic light. C. When the vehicle in front of you is driving below the speed limit. D. When passing will save time on your trip. Answer A. When the solid yellow line is in your lane. Question 30. Is it legal to park on the roadway side of another vehicle, double parking? A. Yes, if the street is wide. B. Yes, for a quick drop-off or pick-up. C. No, it's illegal. D. Only in designated areas. Answer. C. No, it's illegal.